here we are in Vermillion City. So let me heal up real quick. I'm gonna just run to the uh, run to the Pokemon Center real quick. And heal up. That'd be nice. Hopefully we can get very far through this live stream session. I'm I plan on live streaming for at least two hours. So I guess that's something to look forward to looking forward to. To look forward to, I should say. We go in this house over here, this one to the left of the Pokemon Center, and talk to this fisherman, Guru. He says, I'm the fisher, I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I simply love fishing. I can't hear, I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? If you say yes, he'll give you, he'll say this, uh, grand. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. We get the old rod from fishing guru. Yeah, uh, fishing is a way, is a way of life. Oh, um. Thank you, Kent underscore Anderson, for following the Grotto Squad. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I like getting new followers, and I hope you guys enjoy the streams and stuff that I put, that I put effort into, you know? Yeah, um, fishing is my own life, and it looks, and it's like the finest poetry. From seas to, from the seas to the rivers, go out and land a big one, my friend. Now, the thing is that, um... Kent Anderson, Kent Anderson, my is my is your gob boy, is boy gob boy. Um, I'm guessing that might be Tanner, but I'm not sure. Is it you, Tanner? I'm not even sure, cause I know on Steam, you know, he's he's like the gob gob boy and all that. I don't know. I didn't know Tanner who um is interested in my live streams, but that's cool. I guess if it's Tanner. Oh, it is. Oh, hi, Tanner. Thanks. Welcome to the live stream. I'm just, I'm just live streaming Pokemon Fire Red. It's nothing really big, but I really like, I really enjoy Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So, yeah. Um, yeah. What I was saying though is you can like go to your key items pocket and then put the. Sorry, I'm getting. I'm sorry. I'm using my D-pad on my GameCube controller, and it's way hard because you have to be very excited. Excite. Okay, so here's the old red. You can register it. To make it select and all that, but um, to have a quick access, it just press your select button on your controller or Game Boy, and you can use it right away. Or you can um, well, basically all all it does all the world can catch is Magikarp. So if you didn't buy that Magikarp from that um guy in front of before Mount Moon in that Pokemon Center named Man, then this isn't the way you can buy a um you can get a Magikarp. I mean, it's a 100% chance you'll always run into. A uh, magic card when you use this rod. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna set the bicycle. Do I? Have to, oh, I don't. I don't have the bicycle yet. Never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. So here in Vermillion City, you can go to the Pokemon and stuff. I mean, if you want, I might do that off screen or something. But I want to go here, which is the Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon, all Pokemon fans are welcome. And if you go up here, and you talk to this guy right here. This guy with the cool um, brown hat will say, "I'm a, I'm the chair of the Pokemon fan club. I raised more than a hundred more than a hundred Pokemon. It's very fussy. I'm very fussy when it comes to this Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come visit? Did you did you come to visit? Did you come did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Good then. Listen up. My favorite Pokemon is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. Do you think?" Amazing, you think so? Oh yes, I'm, it's stunning. Kindly, kindly love it. I get one sweeping, warm, and uh, cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to grab this. This is a bicycle voucher, which will you can trade that into the bike shop in Twin City, and you can get a um bicycle. So that's how you get the bicycle in this game. Take that bicycle voucher, bike voucher to the bike shop in Sweden City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my fear uh, will find me anywhere. I need to go. So I don't have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Okay. Oh, Athletic Ninja says, uh, What was your first best Pokemon? Who was your first best Pokemon? No starters? Like, um, I thought I can enjoy you talk about in the series or like in general on different playthroughs, like my best run of the game. 
and then Taylor um nine five one two 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 says Sand Shrew. Interesting for one. Oh you guys Kadabra Athletic Ninja, that's cool. So I'm gonna run back to this and say just to show off the bike voucher real quick. Cause I wanna get the bike right away, because now I got the bike voucher so I can go and um go back to Sewer and City. Hopefully no one bug one there. Okay good. Um and get the bicycle, so that's cool. Life green slash fire red. Um my first best book one. Um in leaf, it was in leaf green. I think it was my first book one I caught in my one playthrough where I used a really cool Venusaur and I had a really good run. Would probably be a Pidgeot that brought into Pidgeot that like new airways, airways and fly and um I forget that the two moves so I could every always fly and um steel wing, I remember steel wing. And I forget the fourth move, but I'm pretty sure it still wasn't wing attack. So I'm gonna go over here. So we just still don't have cut yet, so I'm gonna have to hop over this ledge right here. And yeah. I'm gonna have to go to the bike shop. And you can go oh, not the bike shop. This is the Pokemon. What what am I doing? What am I doing? My bad. The bike shop is to the left right here. So if you go in the bike shop, now that we have the bike voucher, which is really nice, you can talk to the clerk now, and then sh uh, he can still say, Oh, that's a bike voucher. Here you go. Okay, here you go. We get the bicycle. So, that's cool. Thank you. Come back again sometime. Well, there's no need to come back ever to this bike shop ever again, because you already got the bicycle, so really no point. Um, let's see here. I'm still trying to get used to the D-pad. It's all... The, the D-pads and arrows are like close together or something when you press down on them, so I didn't want to use, I didn't want to con calibrate my controller for the con control stick because that's, you have to be exact and stuff, I guess, but I don't know. Um, let's go to register. We can register it, so when we press select button, in my case, a Z on the game controller, you can actually, you know, go ride around the bicycle without trying, try not to go into buildings like I did, like, where it resets it and you have to come back out and then go back to your bicycle. So, <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little sick from two Tuesdays ago. I still have a cough, so I apologize. I'm trying to get over it, but it's just slowly going away. Still is, actually. So let's go back to Villain City real quick. I mean, we weren't quite done there, of course. So again, we take the bicycle path or the underground path. The, not the bicycle path, the underground path. And we can just actually ride on our bicycle, which is really fast. It's way faster than walking too, I think. At least maybe twice as fast. Walking, I would just say. Uh, I should say running too. Twice as fast as running on running shoes. And let's just go around here. Let's avoid the tall grass, but you know, go around the tall grass. And what else is there to do? If you see right here, here's the Pokemon gym. But we have to um we have to get the um HM for cut and we don't have it yet so we can't really access the gym and we don't have the HM for surf so we can't surf around this tree either which will get too far away right in the game actually um I want to buy some items just to see you just for um just so I have them I guess oh athletic ninja says do you ever try to beat the elite four twice in leaf green did you ever try to beat the elite four twice in leaf green slash fire red um I beat, I beat, an, I, I like beating the Pokemon League in this, like X and Y, and in really any Pokemon game multiple times. So yeah, I love trying to beat the Elite Four twice, you know, just because beating it once is cool, you know, to advance the story into the after game and all. But then beating it again, because like sometimes it, some some games have it where the Pokemon League is like have more, um, the levels get tougher in different Pokemon. Like this in this game, Pokemon Fire Red and and of and then Leaf Green, you um. After you get the natural decks and stuff, you actually can rematch the Elite Four, and they'll have like Johto Pokemon instead of just Kanto Pokemon as well, the second time through, which is really nice, which I'll cover that in this series. I would love to do that. Um, so yeah, you'll look forward to that. I have 23 Pokeballs, so it's by like, it's by like, mm, six more, I guess. Let's make it an even 30, actually. Wait, wait, I did not, I did not do my math there, right? Okay, so... Uh, I did okay. If I bought six, and so I had like 29 or something. Boy, I bought more. It's okay, whatever. Super potions. I sh um, I'm gonna buy three more. I'm gonna buy three more. Oh, nah, there we go. That works. 
So I'm sure trying to get used to the speed bad controller, so hopefully I get better at it as time goes on. Um, I will buy one more antidote, why not? And then paralysis heals, we'll buy one more paralysis heals. And awakenings, let's buy th two more I guess. Um, ice heals, I don't want to buy. Hells, let's buy like, maybe like three more or something, I don't know. Just buying some more stuff a little at a time when I might need it later. Nothing big. So here is um, Diglett's cave right here, which we'll cover after we fit, um, after we do the SSN. So, and here's the SSN over here. I'm trying to debate whether if I should take on the SSN first before the route east or west of um, or it was like the first time east of the Moon. Um, I'm gonna try to. Do, I'll do the route before the SSN. So let's do that. And let's switch to with Fear Me. Because I think this route will go quick. Because I know these trainers have like, um, the youngsters have like Pidgey and Sandshrews. And the Gamblers have like Poliwags and stuff like that. So it shouldn't be too hard. Here's an item right here right off the bat. And then here's an. Okay, it's an Awakening. Okay, cool. So let's take on the trainers on this route real quick. Let's go, but don't cheat. I'm sorry. I don't know if. You can't really cheat in a Pokemon game unless you like to do items and stuff. And from, like actually playing Game Sharks for the Game Boy Advance. There was like Game Shark and then or a Game Shark version of the for the Game Boy Advance, just like the um, N64 had a Game Shark and then the, for DS is actually like but I don't I don't, I don't have this because this is on an emulator. I can't really hook it up right now. If I were to do that, I don't really want to use in that Game Shark to cheat, you know? I'm gonna shoot scratch. Okay, the gaze poison sting on Paris. That's gonna hurt. You know what this does? Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. That shall see. Gaze poison sting again. Okay. Hyper Fang then. Yay, Hyper Fang. Yeah. Just half HP. Okay, cool. Uh, another poison sting. Yeah, it's just a Hyper Fang. Dave's glare which will paralyze Chelsea, dang it. Okay, that's cool. Go for the quick attack. There we go. Over the Atkins right there. Chelsea good level 17, nice. And we feed a youngster Eddie. I got I skipped 30 dollars, sorry, but thanks for the 336 poke dollars. <laughs> 